Today we're going to be looking at how you can move 3D content from Blender into HitFilm Pro and also giving you a really amazing 3D model. So that's awesome. If you've created your model inside Blender and animated it there, how do you get that into HitFilm Pro? Of course this is a thing that we've done very recently in Rebellion where there's that final shot and everyone comes running out of the bunker and there's that huge walker there. The walker was created in Blender and it was animated there too by a very talented HitFilm user. We then took that across into HitFilm to do the compositing, the grading, the lighting and the final rendering all in HitFilm for the short. The process we're showing is very particular to Blender version 2.78 and HitFilm Pro 2017. If you're using a different 3D product, maybe Cinema 4D, maybe 3D Studio Max, the process could well be different. It's also not the only way that you can move this content from Blender to HitFilm, but it's the way that we used in Rebellion, so that's what we're going to show you. Let's do this! So we're going to open up this walker into Blender 2.78. Now we're actually going to try and export two different files here, an animation file and a model file. When it comes to the model file, you're probably going to wonder why we're not going to use an OBJ. And the reason for this is that we need the groups inside that file to match between the animation file and the model file, and this doesn't work if we do this in Blender. So instead we're going to use an FBX to export the model. Now in the settings for the FBX we're going to make some changes. Firstly we're going to switch off everything here in this section other than the mesh. And then we're going to go into these other sections. I'm not going to do anything in geometries but inside armatures we're going to switch off the add leaf bones. And then inside animation we're going to switch off baked animation. And do make sure you're using FBX 7.4. Now all we need to do is we're going to save it in this default location here and click export FBX. This will give us our model, but now we need our animation. So this looks fantastic, the walker walking along. We're going to use Alembic for this. So we go up to File and then Export. And then we're going to pick Alembic.abc. In here we're going to make a couple of changes. The first is we're going to increase the scale to 100. This will make it match inside Hit Film. The next thing is we're just going to make sure that we select the frames that we need to export. There's 350 in this case. And make sure that we have these other settings presented exactly like this below. We're then going to use the default path and click export. Now what this will do is take quite a while to export. As you can see down here there's progress happening. I'm going to speed this up in the video because you don't want to be here forever. But it will slowly update in the progress bar as to what exporting is going on as it exports each of those individual frames into the file as baked animation. Right, now the animation is finished, we can close Blender. Now we've got an FBX and an ABC file, so let's open up HitFilm and get importing. Now I'm just going to create a standard new project, 1080p, 25 frames a second, as we like it here in Europe. And then the first thing I'm going to import is the FBX file. Now here we're going to need to do a few different things. Firstly, I can't see the model, where is it? I need to go to the Advanced tab. What I need to go down to, under Normals, is say Generate with Smoothing. I'm going to change this angle to 20, I found that works well, and then update the preview. Here he is, here's our walker. I'm also going to switch off Auto Normalize and update again. Now in the materials, we have four different materials here. They don't seem to be in the right order, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to type in map so I can just see the image maps I need to apply, and then quickly apply the images which are in the same folder as the model. Now first is material 3, so we want the diffusion map 3, then the specular for 3, and then lastly the normal for 3. We'll do the same for 2, and then the same for 1 as well. Interesting thing about this model is where it says Material 4, it actually uses the Diffuse, Specular and Normal for one as well. So I'll put all of those in there. We could leave it with the textures, but I'm going to do a bit more here. I'm going to change the Illumination model to Cook Torrents. And then I'm going to select the Titanium type. I found that this made the model look more metallic in my final rendering. So now the model's imported, this other file is actually FBX animation, which in this case wouldn't have worked, so I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to create a comp and drag my model in. There he is, all textured, looking great. I'm now going to add a camera so that I can pan around the model. Oh, hang on, he appears to be halfway into the floor. 
So let's go to the front view. Yes, he is stuck in the floor. And then if we go into the world transform of the model and alter the anchor point, we can put his feet on the floor plane. Back to the active camera. That looks much better. I'll just reposition the camera a little bit. Get rid of the grid. Okay, yeah, this is looking as it should. I guess we could also add a light at this point just to make things a little bit more dramatic. Let's move it away. It seems to be inside him at the moment. Forward a bit. Up a bit. That's a bit better. Now we can really see the model looking great. Of course, we haven't got any animation yet, but he's all textured and he's looking like he'll render well once the animation has been applied. Next, we need to import the animation. So we just select our ABC file and bring it in. Now, in the 3D model, in the model section under the walker, we have an animation section. We simply just drag and drop the ABC file in there. And all of that animation that we had in Blender is now being applied correctly to this model. And it's as simple as that to bring the animation and model in from Blender. We can now do all of our compositing here. We can now create virtual cameras here, add lights, and render it out as we need. We hope you found that really helpful, guys. We've been asked for a while, how do I move my stuff from Blender to HitFilm? Well, that's the process we use. We find it pretty quick and pretty easy, but maybe the Blender experts out there know some other ways. Please tell us down below in the comments. Please consider subscribing. It means a lot to us, and we'll see you next time. Bye.